All right, hey, Shalom, my camp. <clears throat> First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Raka, Kadash, noble honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And we are the Hebrew Israelites, which consists of the Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Simo Indians, West Indians, and Haitians. And according to the Holy Scriptures, we're God chosen people. Shalom to all the brothers out there, push this knowledge in sincerity and truth. Shalom to the few sisters and shalom to the Israelite foreigners who are scattered abroad. And what you're looking at is a true depiction of the one that you call Jesus Christ, whose real name in the Hebrew is Yahweh Shai. And what you're looking at is a true depiction of the one that you call God, the one that you call Jehovah, whose real name in the Hebrew is Yahweh. When you call upon the Most High and His Son, you must say Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh means He exists. The existing one, Baha Shem, means in the name, and Yahweh Shai means he delivers. The Lord and Savior is coming back to deliver the elect out of the nation of Israel upon the destruction of the modern day Babylon, aka America. All right, coming back at you with some, um, you know, hey amen. <laughs> prophecy on top of prophecy, as you can see, you know, California to require, um, you know, the Maxine. Is the, the sweet juice, the love potion for students, you know, school children. Okay. There it is, man. So things is definitely moving fast. All right. California is the first state to mandate the vaccine for children. So, you know, you know, things about to go up, man. Things are moving extremely fast through the, through your whole body. Shimmy, I was shy. Okay, let's link everything over prophecy. Also, peep this. Friends out there, I love you guys. Love you to death. Love them babies. Kiss them babies for me. Take care of them. Take care of them. Yeah, I love you guys. I survived. I got attacked in a hospital. I'm not making this up. Okay, I didn't have a choice of denying a COVID test or not. I had five nurses come in my room and attack me two in the morning, held me down, shoved the Q-tip up my nose, and I'm like, what the hell? I'm on IV, I'm on everything, I'm weak, I can't even move. I was literally attacked by demons to me. They were nurses, but they attacked me and made me take a COVID test. 20 minutes later, oh, you know, he doesn't have COVID. You're fine. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Time is short, brothers. Everything is linking up with the scriptures. So California, New York, everything is going to, man, Babylon is about to be destroyed. All right? Babylon, a.k.a. America, is on its way out. And man, oh man, we can't wait for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh to bring down that, that, that superior judgment on this evil-ass kingdom. Even though, you know, everything is moving in tangent with prophecy. You understand what I'm saying? Because wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth. And it's time for this, these devils to go. Esau. Uh, Matthew chapter 24 verse 19. It says, And woe unto them that are with child. And to them that give suck in those days. So, you know, when Yahweh Shai was prophesying this, this happened in 70 AD. You understand? So, so first and foremost, it's dealing with 70 AD. But what's coming this time is going to make 70 AD look like a walk in the park. Okay? But pray ye that your flight be not in the winter, neither on the Sabbath day. Hey, they they, they talking about a dark winter. A dark winter, man. And why, why do Yahweh Shai say a Sabbath day? Because the Greeks attacked us. Esau attacked us during the Maccabean um, period. The Maccabees on the, on the Shabbat. And the Maccabean brothers, man, they fought on the Shabbat. So today we're not, you know, majority of the of the Israelites, two thirds of our people don't even know when the Shabbat talk um comes in. So this dealing with 70 AD. But you can use pray pray your flight be not in winter. Hey, shit could go, yo, man. Things can go from zero to a hundred from here on out. Anything can happen. Yahweh Shai can Pull any, I mean, y'all by Shimmy, I was shy. Could man, yo, anything can happen from here on out. You understand? So, people is getting ready to, um, you know, re rebel against this thing. 
with with the love potion against their against their children. You understand what I'm saying? A lot of people gonna pull their children out of uh, out of these schools, and and they know they know they they expect these things. So what's gonna be the next um thing? Oh, martial law. <clears throat> um, pretty much they're gonna come and separate households, man. Households about to be separated. All right. For then shall be great tribulation such as what not not since the beginning of the world to this time no never shall never shall be. And it's gonna be yo, time of Jacob's trouble. It, it is upon two thirds of our people here in America. They already begun. But once it gets to Babylon, things are going to escalate very quick. And except those days should be shortened. There shall no flesh be saved. You see that that that, that older uh, gentleman showed him they, they doing it. And so the hospital is not even safe, man. So def so definitely that's why here great most stone from the apostles and elders on down. We push you know taking care of yourself to the best of your ability, exercising, dealing with these herbs, man. Get get you some sea moss, get you some oil of oregano, some inconacea with some vitamin C, um, collodial silver, you know. Eat a lot of fruits and vegetables, juice. You understand? I, I myself, I still eat, you know, the meat uh, as far as the lamb and um and chicken, but to each his own. But my diet does not consist of me eating out, man. You know, majority of the times, you know, cook meals at home, meal prep, and you know how we do is Jake. This shit gotta last you for for days, you know. <laughs> we ain't got the luxury of, of 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 um of these these damn devils to eat. Any coarse meal they want every other day or whatever, man. But even in this kingdom, they're not satisfied. Because it's all fleshly. It says, except those days shall be shortened, there shall no flesh be saved. And that's including animals, man. Not only human beings, animals as well. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. So that's dealing with this, this period of time right now. Can't you see how fast time is flying? You get up in the morning and you get yourself, to, to, you know, and you, you know, I myself trying to see what's going on. And then the next thing you know, it's fucking 30 minutes past. You're like, oh, shit. He goes, oh, man, I got to get up. I got to start moving. You know, next thing you know, that 30 minutes past. You're like, whoa. You know, time is, man. So for the elect's sake, these things are happening, man. All right. So, so yay, man. For us, brothers and sisters. Listen, his faith with our children, man. It ain't nothing to worry about. Y'all by Shimei Awashai is going to take care of, a, of his. All right? Y'all by Shimei Awashai is going to take care of his. Matter of fact, let me, uh, I'm going to find that scripture after I get to this Daniels. Because great miracles and great judgment is about to take place out here, man. The time is short. Daniel 12 and 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince was standing for, the, for thy children of thy people and there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time and at that time thy people shall be delivered everyone that shall be found written in the book for us brothers you know a few sisters out there we hey, don't don't stress out man you know people going in these mandates coming for these jobs so hey so what man because once you, you know, you know how this thing goes. You, you've been doing your research. You're done. You're done. There's information coming out of these booster sh um, potions, got HIV in it, all kinds of stuff going on. So do your do your research. Do your due diligence. You know? So this is where we want to be because this, the time that's coming is going to be crazy as hell. But it's going to be beautiful at the same time. So, so, so great miracles is getting ready to happen and great judgment is getting ready to happen. So me, I'll find that scripture about, you know, for us brothers with children and stuff like that. All right. This is uh second Ezra chapter two, verse 26. It says on down as for the servants whom I have given thee, there shall not one of them perish. Those that be found written in the book of life. For I will require them from among thy number, from among our people. Be not weary for when the day of trouble and heaviness cometh. So the day of trouble and heaviness is upon us. 
others shall weep and be sorrowful. So a lot of people are going to start leaving California, man. You know, getting, getting the fuck up out of here. But thou shalt be merry and have abundance. And that's for the elect, for their families. The heathens shall envy thee, but they shall be they shall be able. Oh, I'm sorry. The heathen shall envy thee, but they shall be able to do nothing against thee, said the Lord. My hand shall cover thee, so that thy children shall not see hell. So uh, get them Vanessa up in there. That's it. Ain't no coming back from that, man. So a lot of our people, you know, they 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 about to man. You understand? So be prepared, man. Be prepared. Stay prayed up, you know. I myself have a younger one, and I'm like, hey, leave everything in the hands of the Most High. But this is where my my faith is 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 counted right here. Brothers been um storing up their spiritual riches in heaven, so we about to cash in. It says, be be joyful, O thy mother, with thy children, for I will deliver thee, said the Lord. So that's what we are uh, looking forward to. Looking for that uh. Let me see what else. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the point. We're looking for that deliverance. We're looking for that, that divine intervention. So a lot of people have woken up to what the hell is going on. So things are about to start moving even faster to where the Karagma is going to be implemented. World War Three, man, Jeremiah 51, Isaiah 13, Revelations 18, Revelation 17. Things are about to move like a domino effect. Because why? The time is short. Shalom, my kiam.